Hello everybody and welcome back to Be Joy in the Kitchen. I am Be Joy and this is my kitchen. Well it's cocktail, non-alcoholic tail time again. It's about mm, let's see 519 here in Phoenix, Arizona. Still hotter than the Dickens. So I want to prepare a nice cool drink for today. And this is a mango colada. And I got this recipe, my gosh, it looks like I printed it out in uh, 2016. And it's from someplace called The Kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-N. I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, it's a simple drink to make. All you need is mango, mango juice, some ice, and some coconut water, and a little bit of lime. So I'm going to start out with my, we want a half cup of mango, and I've already kind of prepared a little bit of it. But I, I know I've showed you my mango hack before that I learned from somebody online at some point. Where you take a glass, and you put it underneath between the skin and the flesh, and it comes off pretty darn easily. And there we have it. And that's the last part of my half cup of mango. I'm going to go ahead and pop that into my Vitamix, my favorite toy, as you know. From there, we're going to add a half a cup. Get rid of that. From there, we're going to add a half a cup of mango juice. And this is actual mango juice from the, not from this mango, but from another mango. Not that I made. I bought it at the store. In fact, I bought it from Trader Joe's. Half a cup of that mango juice. We're going to take a half a cup of ice. Now, if you're using frozen mango, you only need a quarter cup of ice. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in a quarter cup of coconut milk. You can also use coconut cream, which I thought about, but then I went, Neh. I need my uh, my coconut cream when I make my, my ice cream, and that will short me a quarter cup. So a quarter cup, I use a uh, So Delicious unsweetened coconut milk. You can use any type that you like, and then you're going to have a squeeze of lime. I'm going to go ahead, this is a small lime, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the whole, whole darn thing in there. Because in my mind, you can't have too much lime, honestly. And then we've got the other half here in my favorite squeezer, as many of you know. And it's a little squeeze here, squeeze there. You can get it. And who knows what comes next? It will be the blender Vitamix dance. We're going to cover our ears and we're going to dance for a couple of minutes to this before we pour it. Darn, now I think we're going to have to wash my hair because my hands were all sticky. But never mind on that. And I'm going to just pour it into these two short glasses. In fact, I think I'm going to put some ice in, honestly, because I'd like a little ice in it. You probably don't want to wait for me to do that, but anyway, you will. Oh, boy. This can take a bit. All right, so I've got the ice in one. I'm going to go ahead and pour one of them. Ooh, this is looking good. And you know what I like about mango? In fact, I made a mango smoothie this morning because I had some more mangoes. Um, I like it that it gets nice and thick. So I want to watch, you want to watch me pour that into this glass. And that's a nice short one right there. The other one I'm going to take, add some ice, and then because it's for Arlene, I'm going to put some rum in hers. So it, like I said, it's a cocktail. And I was told not to call them mocktails anymore. Um, I saw something on CBS this morning, something like that. And this gal who's got a lot of drink recipes wish I could think of the name of it and the name of her, but you'll be seeing more of those from me because I'm going to look it up. She said, they're not mocktails because you're not mocking them. I go, oh, we're just going to call them uncocktails, I guess. Ooh, this is heaven in a glass. So hope that you're going to be joy in your own kitchen this week and enjoy the yum when you make your mango colada mm, it is delicious and let me know how it comes out until then meaning until next time